So, hi guys, and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo video where I show you stuff that I built. <laughs> this video is a promo for the Roost Cafe. This is another one of our Summer of Lulls projects where I got randomly inspired and started building stuff. Um, sorry for doing the video at night. I hope you can see it properly. It's just that when I play Animal Crossing, I can only play it at night with my husband when he got off from work. So um, it just feels a little weird for me to display it in the daylight because for me it won't look right in the daytime. It only looks right at night. Um, I tried to make it as accurate as I could to the game. I made it using the same units of measurement in the game. So it's exactly uh, seven avatar squares long and five avatar squares wide, which sounds like really small on um and it is kind of small but it fits so well and once you get inside it's really comfortable so this is uh the outside of the building i wasn't able to make it look like the outside of the building like it does in animal crossing because um you would have to like i need you to take both your hands put one hand right here against this window like right here and the other hand right here and that's how it is in the game so if I was to do that, the inside would be drastically cut. Um, my friend had a workaround for that. He suggested that I build like a front, like a, a stage sort of, the box for it. So where your hand is right here and right here, that's the first part of the building. And when you click on the door, you get teleported up to a, like a skybox where it's the inside of it. And I thought that was just like way too complicated for no reason. So I decided to build it the way it really is scaled and stuff. So this is how it would look um, if it was. So I'm going to, I guess, turn, um, well, forget to turn light. I'm going to go inside and show you what it's like. Because it feels, even though it's small, it just feels very nice. So I'm just going to open the door step inside and here's the cafe close the door behind me so it is small but the cafe is small in the game you have pretty much I'm getting a mouse look we have the glowy windows that's on the inside um, advanced lighting coming down here so there's lighting on this and shadows so you definitely want to have advanced lighting on so you have um, four chairs that are animated so you can sit out here uh, you have the bar and these chairs. Now, the problem I have with these chairs, I bought these chairs because they were the closest to the chairs in game. But And they said that it was animated. But the ones that are animated, uh, everything's non-mod, no trans, just copy. So, um, the chairs are not scripted to work. You'll have to put your own sit on it if you want. I'm just not good at doing that. Plus, I'm lazy. Um, so the chairs are there for you if you could just get the well descriptive. Um, all the furniture and stuff that you see in here comes with it. So there's the clock and then the cash register, the teapot, the little refrigerator, the shelf full of stuff, the rubber plant. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of house plant this is. Um, and the shelf full of stuff. Now because it is a little prim heavy, it's uh, 121 prims uh, without the doors because I don't know the door is like an extra prim but you know how it is when you have mesh stuff combining with uh, prim stuff um, the prim count isn't all that great so it, it'll, it'll like it'll say it's 121 but it might not be even be that maybe 119 with the doors and stuff like that but anyway comes furnished there's no bartender, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't feel like bringing in Brewster. I thought that would be silly in case you wanted to cosplay um, and pretend like this is the bar. So because um, the chairs weren't scripted or so, I tossed in, let me hop up on this here. I tossed in that radio right there. So you can actually play, click on it and it plays some music through the radio or you can use it to, uh, I guess, stream music you want. So you can play that song that plays inside the roost. Uh, I have no idea how it works. They didn't put any instructions inside of it. But they made a radio that's full perm and it kind of looks like it would fit in this Animal Crossing uh, like world. So it works out. Anyway, that's pretty much the build right now. I hope that you enjoy it. 
and have fun if you're an Animal Crossing fan or you just need a small cafe to um, play around with. Of course, like all the rest of my stuff, it's full perms. So you can modify it, take it apart, or export it and do whatever you want with it and just have fun. As long as you're having fun, that's all I really meant. Uh, I really care about. So yeah, this has been our um, the Roost Cafe build, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So see you in our next video when we build something else. <laughs> all right, bye.